Hello everyone and welcome to stampityourself.com. My name is Connie Ray. Uh, today's tutorial is this card here that I have created using Stamping Up products. I have taken, this is probably I think my third go at actually shooting this today. So I have progressed up to here and I will explain how I got to here. It's not too difficult rather than having to start all over again and make another card. Hmm. Okay, so Firstly, you need to create um, a piece of cardstock which is going to measure eight and a half in uh, landscape mode, five and a half in width, and scored at four and a quarter so that your card stands open like this, basically. There you go. So it's just going to stand open like that. Then you're going to need a mat underneath, which is going to be five and a quarter by four inches. The stamps that I've used today are my favourite, Birthday Blooms. And I've, I've used this one in a previous tutorial, which everybody's seen. And thank you and hello to the new subscribers. And of course, I've gone to use, I've been using this one today. This has got to be my all-time favourite set. I just love these flowers. They are just so nice to work with, so easy to work with. Anyway, I've used this um, large stamp here from the Birthday Bloom set. And what I have done is I have coloured in my bloom with my Copic marker and that's my Y21 that I've coloured that in with in the Copic marker to get the yellow and as you can see here what I've done is I've, I've coloured in my my bloom as I have here sorry I've coloured in my bloom here made it coloured it all in yellow and then I've cut out just the bloom rather than the foliage as well so you can see the bloom there that I've cut out. And the other thing that I've done to make sure that this card stays as beautiful as it is, I have actually gone around the outside of the card with my black marker and I have actually coloured in all the white bits so that you don't have any white bits showing when you're looking at the card, especially once you get the dimensions on. So the dimensionals on. So um, that's basically where I got up to before I was interrupted in my recording. I thought I was going to be interrupted again there. Um, I've also um, just created some um, stems using green cardstock. And I've also taken a piece of one inch by five and a quarter inch black cardstock. I have stamped the love word from weather together stamp set and I've used this one down here and I've stamped that with Versamark and and embossed it with white embossing powder to give it a bit of a raised look so that's where I've gotten up to so far there's nothing more to it than that I've just laid down these cards in the pattern that I desire and you might want to just have a look at the way that this pattern is and take a photo or whatever it is that you want to do um, just to give yourself an idea of the placement of them and then basically now I'm up to this part here where I'm just trimming off my over excessive I'll go this way over oh, let me just get my camera in view okay there we go you don't want to see me okay so basically I'm trimming off the excess of the stem once I've got it in place which I have so that you can see the stem hmm. probably would have liked it over a bit more I think but anyway that's fine so you can put it obviously whichever way you like and then I also made some embellishments basically like that and I've made some little embellishments to go onto the card itself to make it look pretty and I have used this little punch here and I've used some vellum and I have punched out the little flowers and punched out two for each flower and I have used a glue dot and I have put the flowers together on an angle to each other so that they pop up 
So what you'll see is you'll get this gorgeous little flowery kind of look with the diamante in it. Oh, don't know if it's going to come into focus, but it may. There you go. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's basically got a little diamante in the middle and it's a little flower. So basically that's going to go onto the card with another blue dot, which I'm going to do now before I actually put the card down. Uh, sorry, um, stick the bottom of it down. So I'll just turn that around so I can see because today's been one of those days if I don't watch, I'm going to do something wrong. Hello to all the new subscribers and thanks for joining stampyourself.com. I do hope you're enjoying the tutorials. And I have been, it has been a while since I've uploaded the last one, so I apologise for that. It's just taking me forever to get get to this point to do another design. And, and it's not that I haven't got the designs, it's always the fact that I run out of time to do them, so to record them. So, and you know how it is, life just gets in the way. All right, so we've got one more flower. I did three. And let me see, I'm kind of thinking, well, maybe here, that'd be nice. There we go. So I've, I've popped them on and they just look really elegant. Just having them sitting there like that, they're really sort of cute. Of course, it looks much nicer when you make it yourself, but once you know how to make it, that's the key. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little glue dot and I am going to just twirl it down to a little tiny half size and I'm just going to stick it underneath this vine here just so that it... oh that wasn't very good was it I did it all under the under the watchful eye of nobody okay so I've just basically stuck a little bit of a let me zoom in there we go I've stuck a little tiny glue dot under here just to make sure that stays down and I might just do another one just for the purposes of this demonstration. Another little glue dot. But you just roll them into tiny little balls. You can do that with the glue dots. You can make them quite tiny and um, manageable. And you might just stick one there. And then you can just push them into shape. So there's a shame stay bleh, they're the same shape as the stem. And then you can't see them. There you go. So that's basically the card itself. The longest part is possibly the colouring and the cutting. That's the longest part. But it certainly is worth it. It's a really lovely card. So I'll just pop this one up onto some dimensions. And I'm thinking I've got my niece's um, dimensionals, I should say. I've got my niece's birthday on Friday and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, should I make another card completely different or should I give her this one? And then I'm thinking, I'm not sure. I was just thinking about her and I'm trying to, I like to give cards to people that have something in common with the card. Um, you know, you know the person and you know what they will like and what they won't like. And it's it's easier to make a card for a person that you know rather than for somebody that you don't. So, because you know their tastes and you've got a little bit of character input. Oh, oh gee, that didn't take long to grab, did it? Okay, so basically, I've tried to make it as quick as possible. Oh. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that silent pause. Okay, so basically, I've got it all together now. I've made it. And I've been determined to get this one up today because I have had this one made since Friday. And I've been determined to get this tutorial up. And nothing is getting in my way except everything. <laughs> so I'm really glad that I've finished it and you can actually see it now. Okay, that's not quite straight either, but it should be fine. There we go. So that is the card that I'm making for the tutorial. 
for, that we've made for the tutorial today. So it's really quite simple. It's just that you've got a little bit of work to do with the flowers, the cutting and the colouring. But you know, if you like colouring in and it never really left you, you'll find that it's really quite relaxing. Uh, the embossing with the white embossing powder and your little embellishments where you're popping out some vellum and you're making some little flowers and putting diamantes on them. And that just goes to make a really lovely card. So I'm sure that somebody's going to appreciate that. If you put in the effort to do that, I'm sure they're going to love it and they're going to think it's amazing. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and having the patience. Um, any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a line. Thank you for subscribing and I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.